Simple questions expose the truth. What is the government of Canada, the government of Ontario, the Canadian Revenue Service, the Ontario Provincial Police, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, all municipal police forces, all crown created corporations? Well, they are all service corporations, fictions. But most importantly, remember this fact. They are just a service corporation. Corporations providing services to we the people, just like Burger King, Tim Hortons, and McDonald's. So do we the people require a lawful government? Yes, absolutely, a de jure lawful government. Then the question is pegged. Do we the people have a de jure government? No, we have a corporation providing services, masquerading as our lawful governments. This is known as a de facto legal government. We the people have never formed our lawful government. Don't you think it's about time we did? The difference between legal and lawful, this is a very powerful question and a very powerful answer. Legal only applies to corporations, fictions. Legal jurisdiction is on the sea, Admiralty Maritime Law. Legal is what Crown Corporations or private courts are operating under. Legal equals persons, fictions, de facto government created. Crown courts are inferior to common law courts. The difference between legal or lawful? Lawful applies to a man or a woman, people, not persons. Lawful jurisdiction is on the land, not the water, the sea. Common law courts equal the highest courts on the land. And the Supreme Court of Canada? Well, that's just a Crown Corporation with employees. Where does the word jurisdiction come from? Juris, of right, law, diction, words. What is the lawful meaning of jurisdiction? Control. Whose court? What law is established? Knowing jurisdiction equals power for we the people. This is not taught to we the people by design. So the word law, where does this word come from? Well, land stands for L, common law, the Ten Commandments, our creator. Air is ecclesiastical, canon law, trust law, and water is the jurisdiction of the sea, legal, admiralty, maritime law, contract law. Each court's jurisdiction also has its own language. We are talking about law of the court, not the venue. Our Creator made it crystal clear. Man is born free with dominion over the earth. Genesis 1.26 through 28. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. And in 28, And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth on the earth. Our Creator made it crystal clear. Man is not to accept any man's person. Job 32.21 Let me not, I pray you, accept any man's person, neither let me give flattering titles unto man. This is why we the people must create our own correct ID notarized. I will do a separate video on this. Only then can we begin to correct the record. So when and what capacity we appear to address the robed ones is understood that their creator, a man or woman, stands before them, not the created, a fiction. The service corporations, governments, operate a system of constructive fraud by design to control and steal our estates, wealth, and future success from we the people for the system's creators, the Vatican, the monarch, and the European banking cartels. For it is the mind of man is the trophy. Their goal? Corrupt our consciousness, and they've done a bloody good job of it. Separate man from law, God. And once again we come to the hierarchy of creation. Who is it you choose to be in this world? It's really quite simple to correct all of this wrong and harm. All we need to simply do is have a conversation conversation that's never occurred on this planet between the people. All of this truth has been kept from us, and it's time it was brought out into the light.